Choose your fighter. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Dragon Quest. God, I'm so excited. I am so excited. So last time, uh, everything went terribly, and the World Tree uh, was destroyed by the actual Dark Spawn, which was the King, which and Jasper, which is what I predicted. And yeah, so I woke up as Silvano. Now I need to go find everyone. Also, I'm gonna grind the shit out of, uh... Once I find everyone again, I'm gonna grind the shit out of everything. So when I do finally face Jasper again, I'm gonna be, like, so OP. The Beastie Boys! I try to steal from the shop of my brother. I come here to help him, but now I am fighting. I cannot move. Wait, we're having a private conversation here. Prodigy, yo! What is up? Indisposed right now, go in. Dude, I will kick your ass. Been forever. Hell yeah. So, what have you been up to, Prodigy? I, I can't help. Dave. Dave. Go kick their ass. Must be careful. The beastly boys. I see... Okay. Already they steal the knapsack of a man who just arrived in town. I see him walk on the piazza after it happened. He looks so, so sad. So I can't- can I just like kick their ass? Gaming, basketball, work- ooh, basketball? God, I remember- so I haven't, you know, I haven't done it in a while, but uh, Back when I was in school, I was, uh, I played volleyball, and I miss it. I miss it so much. Short time ago, I see a sad man walk along this road. He go toward the sea. Okay, so Prodigy, I'm going to get you up to date on what has happened here, right? So, um, basically, uh, the world went to shit because uh, the dark spawn took the heart of the tree and crushed it. So, yeah, now everything looks like California. I mean, okay, the smoke cleared from California, so it's not as bad, but this is essentially what California looked like for like two weeks, except the sky was more covered. Bad day? Hmm? Don't worry, honey. It happens to us all. Hmm? Oh. You're one of those minstrel types, are you? Look, if it's money you want, You'd better go and hassle someone else. I haven't got a penny to give you. Sorry, darling. No can do. No, no, Dave, who's the pink guy, alone, who's the pink guy to uh, the right, through. he's wearing exquisite pants. Look, why don't you just tell me what's on your mind? A problem shared is a problem halved. That's not true at all. People don't give a shit about your problems. That's better. Now we can talk properly. Silvando, 
entertainer extraordinaire at your service. Though I will say Silvando is the most pure character out of this whole thing. Right. Forget right. the luminary. Silvando My is the main. Tetsu. I'm a blacksmith from Hotto. Though I haven't been back in a long old while. I'll tell you my story if you really want, but I'm warning you, it doesn't have a happy ending. But your story hasn't ended. After all those years away, I thought it was time for me to finally head home, see how my mother was doing, you know. But then the minute I set out on my journey, Yggdrasil fell. That just made me even more desperate to get back, of course. I was so worried about her. I managed to make it as far as Gondolia, but then my luck finally ran out. Yo, tell me who you want me to get, and I will get them. I am your assassin for today. Down. The beastly boys, they call themselves. I can't make the journey to Hotto without all my things. Especially not the lilies of the valley I brought for my mother. They're her favorite flower. I wanted to give them to her to say... Okay, no, so I always associated sorry, this place with a mix so of like Spain and Italy. For leaving her all alone. Just because of the way uh, a lot of the people talk here. I can't tell oh, if it's uh, Spanish or Italian. Exactly how you feel. Fear not, friend. Your mother will get her flowers. Dave and I will make sure of that. All you need to do is tell us where we can find these beastly boys. You already know where to find oh. them. Well, if you're sure, there are two merchants, brothers, who run establishments. So, in Prodigy. The town. There's like. I've heard I'm not sure if you ever played Dragon Quest XI or anything like that. Um. But a lot of these places that you go to are, like, inspired by real-world places. Like, there's a academy that is very inspired by France. There's this place, which I think is inspired by Spain and uh, Italy. And then there's um, a place called Galapolis, which I think is supposed to represent Dubai. I wouldn't want you getting hurt. Oh, don't you worry about me, sweetie. I'm more than just a pretty face, you know? You're the prettiest of faces, Salvando. Actually, no, Eric. Eric takes number one. I know where they are. Also, my camera is like... If you want it, we're going to have to take it. That's the way of the world these days. Show us what you got. Hell yeah. Dude, I will fucking end your existence. Dude, I got Dave to fight? Now, now, not so hasty. Leave it to me. Y'all 
playing shit. Now, if you don't mind. Yeah, y'all ain't shit, honestly. What we gonna do with this olive all up then, Sylv? Well, beastly they may be, but they're not exactly the dangerous thugs we heard about. They can barely swing a sword. What's your story, boys, huh? We didn't start out as criminals. We were fishermen. Very happy fisherman at that. But after Yggdrasil fell, he couldn't take the boats out anymore. Have you seen the sea lately? It's swarming with monsters. Things were just impossible. Most days, we barely had anything to eat. The world might as well have ended that day. We lost our families. We lost everything. No one came to help us. So we had to choose between a life of crime or starving to death. And that's no choice at all. It kills them immediately. Watch closely, darlings. This is just an ordinary steel pike, yes? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Think again. <laughs> oh my god, is he Jesus? From arms to... Mm. Who's for fresh bread, huh? <gasps> <laughs> bon appetit, beastly boys. Eat your fill. And forget your wicked ways. You'll be big. That is again one baguette, you know Silvando. That's not gonna feed them forever. Wait. Who who are you? I'm the best. <laughs> Me? Oh nobody. Just someone who likes to see people smile. I like it if he was just like uh making them hallucinate and it was just a like steel <sighs> weapon. Why does my okay? This happened. This happened ever since Witcher Three, right? Where my controller just makes the camera spin. <gasps> oh, thank goodness, they're still in one piece. Now I can go home to my mother with my head held high. Thank you, Mr. Silvando. Oh, here. It's not much, but I want you to have these. Oh, Tetsu, darling. Whatever they are, I'm sure they're wonderful. You're such a sweetie. No, so want to call me a sweetie. Much more. Come and visit me in Hotto sometime. I'll be able to thank you properly. Now, I'd better be off. I tell you to be careful. But I've got a feeling you'll be just fine. Bye for now. See, I want to know what happened to everyone else. Yeah, you all right, Sil? Oh, I'm better than all right, darling. I found it. My purpose in life. My raison d'être. You know how I've been so down in the dumps thinking about all the despair and suffering in the world? Yeah, that would happen. Well, if that's what's making me so unhappy, there's only one thing to do about it. 
Get out there and fix the problem. Help make people happy again. Just because I can't save the world with some grand heroic gesture, that doesn't mean I can't do it one smile at a time. He's so pure. Oh my god. That's Savannah's awesome. the best. Well, I'm actually, Eric you. and Jade are the best, but Savannah's a close second. We heard everything you just said. What the fuck? Are you following me? This MT leaves from before. I hope they ain't spoiling for another fight. Didn't they learn a lesson first time round? You have to let us come with you. You have to let us help people. We're done with our life of crime, thanks to you. You want to tag along? Hmm. Well, I hope you understand it won't be easy. Oh god, now I gotta get I used to three other people. Three piece. new people. We don't care. Oh look, he's not impressed. Hmm. Well, in that case, welcome aboard, darlings. Yes! Now, as luck would have it, I've got you all a welcome gift. Here, take one each now. Don't be greedy. <laughs> oh, they're simply fabulous. Darling, you look splendid. I love, uh... I love those, like, horse heads, like, the in chess or on carousels. If we're going to be traveling around spreading happiness and laughter, we'll need to look the part, no? All right, we're all set. Let's get out there and yeah, they don't have any armor or anything. <laughs> but that's okay, Savando, you do you, Silvando's babe. Savando's super special smile spreading parade starts right here. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Make your way to Hado via Galapolis. Okay. Oh yeah, I can't, I can't fucking fast travel. running away you should fucking run away okay wait so go up here Greetings, fellow travelers. I am a paraphetic priest. When Yggdrasil fell, I resolved to roam Andrea, bring comfort and solace to those who might need it most. But alas, there's only so much one man can do. For every person I help, there are ten that I fail. 
their pain voices haunt me constantly. They keep me awake at night. In fact, I can barely remember the last time that I slept. I am so tired. I fear. I fear. When I was a boy, my mother would give me a cup of hot milk whenever I couldn't sleep. It always seemed to do the trick. I'm sure it would work too, but sadly, things aren't quite that simple. You see, the milk my mother gave me was no ordinary milk. Oh no, she said it came from a talking cow. Now, as luck would have it, there's a talking cow grazing over there. Sadly, recent events appear but put her in a melancholy mood, and she can no longer produce any milk. I get the same old trick work for it's gonna be worth a try. Someone say song and dance, I think that can be arranged. This bovine beauty is for the show of a lifetime. You know what? You know what, Prodigy, you just have to go along with it. Bloom is lifting. In fact, I feel utterly fabulous. Ha <laughs> ha! Wait, did the cow just milk itself? You know what? We're not even gonna ask, we're just gonna go with it. This is like unfiltered cow milk. Oh, so we all get to sleep. Cool. Realize that I'll be able to help a lot more people if I join forces with you. After all, there's only so much one man can do by himself. I, I would love it if I just said no. What is with my camera? Please stop. Please stop moving. Oh wow, it's you, isn't it? You're the great Salvando. Oh, I'm nobody. Not yet, anyway. I joined the circus in Galapagos, you see. Oh, the others aren't going to believe this. It's such an honor to meet you. You're the reason I chose the life of entertainer, you know? One look at you in action, I knew I wanted... I, I knew what I wanted to be. I ran away and joined up as soon as I could. If you're in the circus in Galapagos, why are you doing... We're closing down. Nobody wants to see people clowning around when the world... Uh, the world's the way it is, but we're doing one last performance first. Is we don't have enough people to pull off what the oh okay
Even with you on board, we're still a couple of performers short. Anything, or if you want some advice on who to recruit. Oh, they're all evil! Maybe wondering what Byer's doing in such a place like this. Well, the truth is, I set out on a journey to inspire the world through the medium of rhythm and rhyme. Uh, alas, I am learning that music is far more subjective matter than I had thought. Not so long ago, I was forced to perform for a group of dancing monsters who had no appreciation for my work. Oh, South of Galapagos, not a place I shall be visiting again. Do be careful. So, I'm just wondering, how does Yggdrasil falling make the monsters more evil? I thought Yggdrasil, like, was just a place where souls departed to. Like, that's where the souls came from, and then once people die, it goes back to the tree. Like, it's not the great balance or anything. Oh, yeah. I see what that guy meant. Small Tsuki, hello, hello. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, welcome everyone to Dragon Quest. You're just in time too. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, getting recruits to cheer people up. The Bean Gang, hello, how are you doing? Julie Clouds, hello, how are you? There's a door I haven't opened. Oh right, Marae has a key. Oh God damn it. Okay, we have to recruit people. That guy has a power stance. I can't let you through. Everyone's uh, frantically preparing for our final show, you see. Would you mind going around the main entrance? I, the great Silvando, can't even get into my own circus. Yes. Listen up, rumor has it the best drummer in Galapagos spends his days practicing in front of the church. But apparently something's been troubling him. Okay, in front of the church, got it. I'm so mad that Murray has a key, of all people. Okay, hello, hi, join the circus. How can I make her smile again? My drumming seems to make no difference. But the circus, me? Well, it has always been an ambition of mine to perform alongside the great Silvano, but I'm afraid I can't help you right now. It's my best friend, you see. She hasn't cracked so much as a single smile since Yggdrasil fell. I'm sure the right uh, drumbeat would cheer her up, but I can't seem to find it. How about I give you some help? And we'll make a deal while you're at it. If we can get your friend grinning again, you'll have to come join the circus. She really stands out from the crowd. She's got fine bone structure, great posture, and these long... Oh! Fluttering eyes. 
Okay, so northwest. Let's see. So north west, okay. Oh my god. Okay, I found my horse, everyone. So, uh, Smoltsuki, I did catch your stream, uh, Dragon Quest Nine. I like it. Oh, is this her? Yes, it is her. I think must be mistaken. We barely know each other. Probably talking about, uh, Marguerite. He's obsessed with that horse. Vana's trusty steed. She looks terribly sad, as though she might cry at any moment. This awful darkness that engulfed the world upset you too? How do you not know this is Salvando's horse? It's like a- it's a dead giveaway, my guy. I know I put that right, though. She's always been a fan of my dancing. You lay down to be darling, I'll do the rest. Well, I'll try, I warn you, though. My drumming doesn't seem to have any effect on her so far. Okay, okay, real talk. You guys see how extra this horse is? We'll help you, don't you? Uh, won't you, boys? Let's put our best feet forward and bring a smile back to... Uh... Margarita's big, long face. I don't have that horn yet! I need that horn! No! No! Such a pretty horsey. Look how happy she is. You did it. You really did it. No, we did it. This was a team effort. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Okay. For anyone who hasn't played Dragon Quest XI yet, Salvando is like the most pure-hearted character. Let's give you a little something for making her smile again. Yes! Aww! I did something, it won't be long. Okay, okay. I'm so happy my horse gave me, uh, some shit. Oh wait, no. I already smashed the thing. Fortune teller who's been- oh, okay. Okay, I thought that guy was, like, wearing my- my outfit. And since you were looking for someone, haha, do not attempt to deny it, I know everything. What's more, I'm in a position to help you find the one that you seek. Maybe a long-lost brother, a brand new lover, my crystal balls will guide you to them. Don't worry, I'm not in for the money, I just thought that people might need a bit of spiritual guidance. What with Yggdrasil having fallen and all. Can you imagine how freaked out these people would be? Like, think about it. You're just an ordinary person, you know, you see Yggdrasil high above there, and all of a sudden it fucking falls? That... I mean, that would just be absolutely traumatizing. See that one coming, are you sure about this? I mean, I'm just a fortune teller. I tell you what, why don't we let my crystal balls aside? Now listen carefully, I'm going to picture one, and only one, of the wondrous orbs. All I've got to do is choose one. They speak of fire, they speak of flames, they speak of sunset glow. Alright, I'm picturing... Hmm. Okay, what do you guys think it is? I'm assuming red. But then again... Why do I feel like it's yellow? Uh... 
I'm gonna go with, actually, no, I'm gonna go with blue. Oh, so it was red. Okay, it was red. Maybe I should listen to my better judgment more often. Everything's ready backstage and the performers are waiting for their cues. We're all set. Not that we can start our star turn, of course, time to prepare for our grand entrance. Oh, you know me. I never really to stay away from the circus for long. Bravo, by the way. Most people would have thrown it the towel by now, but I always knew you were made of sterner stuff. Wait, were you the one who found those recruits for us as well? Goodness me, I don't know how to thank you. Oh, you don't need to thank me. The only thing you need to do is give me my cue. Ah. Ah. Yes, yes, let's see Silvano perform. The Bean Gang, thank you so much for the follow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, oh. welcome. One and all. Dude, we're so... <gasps> Julie Clouds, you follow too? Okay, so that means... That means... I know if, it's if you'll a work. difficult time Thank you. for all of us. <gasps> we're at 200 followers! Okay, after this, I'm gonna take a shot. I'm gonna take a shot. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. We are at 200 followers. And defiant exuberance. And no, Will, me, you will not unfollow. What's going We're gonna to take a shot. Because tonight, for one night Nerdvania only, Nerdvania Twitch, thank you so much for the follow, the guys. Since the days of the Gallipolitan Circus, the Wandering Wonder returns. Returns. Oh. Let's see, what do I have? I have lemon-flavored vodka. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> Welcome! Oh, hi! <laughs> hi! <laughs> ha. Clap your hands! Okay, he can do that and be fine, and I do that, and I, like, can't walk like for two weeks. How to. I give you the great Silvando! Oh! Did Savando tell that he was gonna do that? He's so extra. He's on a level I can't even get to. It's time to turn those frowns So you need to go. I, you have school tomorrow. Well, Prepare Julie Klaus, thank you so much for joining and thank you so much for the follow. Uh, that shot is going to be dedicated uh, to you, to uh, Bean Gang, and to Nerdvania, Nerdvania Twitch. So thank you so much. Bonon Co. put on a stu stunning performance, and for one night at least, the people at Galapolis are able to put their worries and cares behind them. Escapism is a very real... I think it's necessary. <laughs> well, Sylph, I've got to hand it to you. That was like nothing else this circus has ever seen. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Darling, please. I just did a few party tricks, that's all. You're the real hero here. 
keeping the show going in these dark times? No one else could have done that. <laughs> well, you know me. I've always been a firm believer in the healing power of laughter. And heaven knows, these people need it now more than ever. I don't think I ever told you who taught me about that power, did I? I saw her when I was just a child. She was simply the most incredible performer. Was it Harley Quinn? She led a parade of people out of a kingdom destroyed by monsters. You're back. Well, welcome back. After this whole cutscene, uh, I'm gonna prepare shots. And she kept them smiling as a thank you for uh, 200 followers. Actually, 201. Can't imagine how inspirational it was for those of us. Man is built like a tree stump. Hey, hey, prodigy! You fight actual tree stumps. That is and offensive. When she'd taken them to safety, she disappeared. Just a sudden yeah, you fight you fight life. evil tree stumps in this game. We never saw her again. The rumors were that she died when she was still young. Okay, I was talking over this and still, they probably should have paid attention to how the story the went. Famous knight, and they got married. So it seems she found some happiness before her untimely end. Seems she found a uh, happiness you before she was her, you know. Annihilated. On her face as she proudly led those people out of danger. I still think he's talking about Harley Quinn. Laughter, I don't know. She went. Well, if I needed inspiration to keep the circus going, you provided it in spades. The show must go on. These people need some light in their lives. Did you hear that, darlings? It seems we've got a rival in the smile spreading business. Well, we'll just have to work twice as hard. Uh, Mr. Sylvander? Would you mind if we came with you? If this circus is going to stand any chance okay. of keeping people Imagine up, if my main performers who my main group best. also I f like I found them? Oh. And well, this group just wouldn't leave here, after that. Course, but we're gonna have like we twelve people. Has to say, don't you? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you boys go with Cyril. Learn all you can from him, hey? I'll be expecting big things from you. Okay, you okay, back. guys. I have to tell you, I'm not sure if any of you have seen like World's Dumbest or anything. Good but the last footage it. I've ever seen of a circus luck. was this guy Come. trying to, um, he was trying to do like a motorcycle jump Life in, the happiness in, in the building the circus was being held in, things, you know? but he went I'm too high to and like smashed and into a metal uh, beam the best in from the, the ceiling. Sir, sir, yes, yes, sir. sir. Yes. Yeah, so he smashed into a metal beam in the ceiling and then fell down and then the announcer like he's uh he got broken bones, you know. Uh but he was able to heal. But like the announcer had to cuz there were kids in the crowd. The announcer had to still have this upbeat attitude while like five medical people had to go rush to this uh one guy. It was Oh, it was a shit show. Oh, okay. So, yeah, that that is very bad. Oh, a nose for treasure. That's our Eric. Okay, so I'm going to go and I'm going to go prepare the shots, right? And then I will be right back. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got the shot with my uh my doodle bob shot glass. So, I didn't have any vodka or anything. So, this is just pure vinegar. And thank you so much to uh, Nerdvania, Twitch, uh, let's see, Julie Clouds and Bean Gang for the follows. You helped us reach 201 followers. And, okay, let me have the chaser. This is for all of our followers. Thank you guys so much. Followers! Woo, woo, woo. 
Also, I would just like to say, uh, in the back of the shot glass, it says me hoi manoi. My sister got it for me for my birthday. What a queen you are. No, 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 Smoltsuki, I am not. The queen is right here. Yeah, Savando so is on a level I cannot even touch. Ahada, okay. So I was wrong. We actually ran out of like the lemon infused uh, vodka. So I just had plain. Also, so uh, whenever I go to Will's parents' house, right? Uh, they always just give us stuff that they don't want anymore. Like uh, a lot of it is alcohol. Um, so we have this like huge bottle of, uh, of vodka. They're just like, hey, we don't really want this anymore. Just like, uh, just take it. Like, all right. Oh my god! Oh! If I didn't live it... <laughs> this straight up looks... I know I keep saying this, but... This straight up looks like California right now. You, so I actually, the reason it's like still full is because uh, we don't drink that often. It's only like on uh, special, uh, like special occasions that we actually do it. So it hasn't, uh, it's still half full. I promise to protect these people and that is what I shall do. We don't mean you any harm, quite the opposite, actually. We're traveling around looking for people who might need our help. Mad with the world. Uh, you must be mad with the world the way, wait, the world the way it is now. Mind you, you do look like you can handle yourself. In fact, there might be, uh, I'm a martial artist, you see. And I said I help the people get food for the village of Hado. Whatever's going on with the world, it seems to have played havoc with their crop production. How'd you find Dragon? You didn't finish. Oh, uh, were you? I think you were telling me about Dragon Quest Nine. I was supposed to protect them, but I didn't stand a chance against that thing all by myself. If you were here, it'd be a different story. Okay, so now I need to stop by the campsite. Oh, okay, that's what you meant. I thought you said, I thought you meant like, how did I discover Dragon Quest IX? But I like it. Honestly, this game makes me uh, more curious about the other Dragon Quest games and possibly playing them. But yeah, I saw the gameplay. I really enjoy it. It's not the same. Where's Eric? One and two on the switch and I assume you could get the rest on an emulator. Get it. Oh my God. Keep our eyes peeled, we're bound to jump, bump into someone else. I believe started Dragon Quest 1, it's very slow and confusing. So the pink pants guy, that's Dave or Dave. 
depending on how you pronounce it. Silvano pronounces it Dave. Dab? I forgot. You look like you in. No, I will never regret it. Huh. Huh. I never regret a dab. So, what am I supposed to. Wait. What am I supposed to do again? Oh, wait. Wait, that is true. Uh. Hang on. Hey, Will, can you come here for a second? I redeemed some points. There we go. That's what... 4,500 points gets. That's okay. So quick. Yeah. I mean, I have... Let's see. I have 63,000 points. So I totally... What was that? You know, there should be... Or we should have point systems that determine how aggressively Will should dab when he's home. I'm supposed to get food, right? Oh, I'm supposed to kill this guy. Fine. Dude, these people. So sick of the dabs. No! redeem the points <laughs> well okay because the only reason we have that is because i would ask and other people in the chat would ask will to do it and he's like no so we needed some like he needed something just be like no now you have to do this him in my party. Honestly, do you see that damage? Yeah, miss me with that shit. Yeah, okay, so even Dave pronounces it Dave. So anyone who says Dave, uh... Like Will... Uh, Will, you're wrong. You're straight up wrong. Will says it's Dave, but even he pronounces it Dave. It's not fucking Dave, Will. Who's the voice actor for that guy? Uh. Uh -huh. 
Announce uh Dave is a major character of Dragon Quest. Thank you so much for your help. I really couldn't have done it without you, you know. You're really quite something. Oh. It's pretty amazing. I want to be like that too, but I don't think I've got what it takes yet. Hey, maybe a few. Some time to help. What do you say? Is it all right? I'm gonna say no one of these times. So you're right. It's not just plain Dave name. Okay, so I know that, but for some reason, Will is just refusing to believe it. Hey, Will. You hear that? It's pronounced Dave. It's pronounced Dave. It says on Wiki. done helping people you're gonna be up all night arguing about Dave <laughs> yeah actually no no because we have D&D &D later so I can't argue about Dave during D&D &D. Hmm. what the fuck I'm gonna okay I'm gonna Silvando, say that to my coworkers next time I work but of course I did. And who's this ravishing young thing, huh? Who? I am his mother. And you must be Sylvando. Gratitude is due. When the world tree fell, I thought my boy had been lost. I'm so excited for today's I session. So, so we're doing an evil campaign, right? And my character but is a Kenku. Is and a Kenku is basically, for those who don't know, like is like a crow house. person. And, and my character too. isn't, uh, let's see. My character is like evil neutral. And he what is just like you a really pure asshole. Not necessarily so like a right soldier of smile, you are. Just like not evil in the way you think, but just a very self-centered asshole. And I'm so excited. Like Alright, listen up, boys. We all know what a dark place the world is these days. But if there's one thing I've learned by helping people like Tetsu here, it's the power of the smile. No matter so how I just want to say this drink get, right here. No matter how much you cry the or how protein too well. It, it's good. Can bring uh, it has a very a strange tomorrow. aftertaste. There's I don't know if anyone cares, but you know, I'm just saying something. Right now. So that's just what we're going to give it. I got it as like a coffee alternative because it has caffeine. And it has so a very right, Silv. We're like it tastes fine the and then you taste the after. It's like uh. Who said you could start calling him plain old Sylvia? <laughs> Cheeky toe rag. I'm also waiting for the vodka to wear oh, off. I am a I am a featherweight. We can't go spreading smiles if we're mistering and surring left them right, eh? Fair enough. Sylve yourself, silly boys. Great idea, boss. Silver is. I'm with you all the way too, Sylve. Let's get out there and save the world. Yeah! I mean, yay! <laughs> yeah! Yay! Oh, yay. Boys, I mean, yay! You don't know yay. how much this means to me. This parade's gonna change everything. I just know it. From this day forth, you shall journey across the land, vanquishing the blight oh of God. despair. With the so, power of when happiness. I was, like, around 11, 12 years old, uh, oh, 
Oh, suspense. The soldiers of smile. Yes. Mm. What is the leader doing? That's a Jade move right there. Do you see the guy in red? That's something Jade would do. I was like part of her puff puff powers. Uh, if it please you, sir, my son would like to join you in spreading sunlight. So that just reminds me. So around 11, right, 12 boys, years old, me and my mom uh, I watched this program called Cats 101. So like, I know a lot about cats, right? Because of that show, right? And... <gasps> Told you I'd thank you properly oh if you came to visit. Now you can travel the world in style. That's so oh my god. Wow. Look at him. We've made something for you too, Syl. To say thanks, you know. Close your eyes. Fabulous! <gasps> yes! Yes, look at me! Oh my, I love it! So much, my special little soldiers. Queen. Here, let's have that snip of you. There's people out there need our help in case you've forgotten. <sighs> oh, look out, world. Here we come. Yes, oh my god. This is the best out outcome there. that could have came from this. We'll meet again soon. I just know it. And until then, I'll be doing my best to make the world a better place. Wait, okay, so instead of searching for his friends, he's just going to go around a parade float. With a bunch, like, he's basically going to bring Carnival to other places of the world that are uh, depressed of Idris El falling. Okay. It's a good option. I'm not saying it's not. I'm just saying, like... I just think it's funny.